somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the joke's on me, don't ya? Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more humongous entertainment Let's Plays. You've all been waiting for it for so long, and we're finally ready to start. Spy Fox Free Operation Ozone, the final installment in the Spy Fox series, and one of the last humongous entertainment game uh, junior adventures, as a matter of fact. There's only two left after this for me to let's play, and uh, both of them were technically made by a different team after it got owned by Atari, but we'll get there later, right now. Spy Fox! Spy Fox! Oh, yeah, Spy Fox Free. I'm looking forward to this one, and I think a lot of you guys are too, judging by... The number of people who have requested this game and who are like, when, when are you doing Spy Fox Free? When are you doing Spy Fox Free? It, the answer is, now I'm doing Spy Fox Free in the year, in the 2022nd year of our Lord. Anyhow, so, we're in Scotland and we're in a bathroom. Pretty typical start to a Spy Fox game, wouldn't you say? Where, oh where could my informant be? Well, they're probably not in the bathroom, Spy Fox, unless they're uh, doing their business, but it looks like there's only one stall here. There's a hat rack here. Thank goodness they're well stocked on toilet paper. That's that's a must. And of course, Humongous Entertainment Games, click on stuff, weird things happen. Look behind the mirror. <laughs> that wasn't ominous or anything. So once again, I will be playing the first path of this just by myself, and I'll, this will be kind of the informative part of the Let's Play. And then, Path 2, I will be joined by my sister Marty, and that'll be the entertaining part of the Let's Play. And I've noticed, based on view counts, that a lot of, some people seem to only want to watch the one with just me. Trust me, you guys don't know what you're missing out on. The, the, if you have to choose just one part of this Let's Play to watch, you should watch the part with me and my sister, because those are far more entertaining. Riveting. It's moving counterclockwise. We must be in the northern hemisphere. Oh yeah, that's true. Toilets flush in different uh, directions based on which uh, hemisphere you're in, which is really bizarre. Let's just leave. Wow, this place is crawling with bad guys. I'm going to need some serious spy action to get through them all. Well, hopefully, uh... <laughs> you get out of here before Laddie is on our tail. The the big guy with, uh, you know, the, who you just put the smoke bomb it on. It says exit. Yes, thank you, Spybox. I am, I am aware of how... Ooh. Man, they installed the disco ball in the men's room? Man, the men's room at my work really needs to step it up. Like, come on. We're lucky if the toilet flushes properly. And now you're they're installing disco balls and having parties in here? Like, what the heck? I'm in here. <laughs> How are they doing this? Here I am. <laughs> look behind the mirror. How do they do that? I don't know, but I yeah. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. The double whammy. Aha! Roger Bohr, spy corps king of covert capers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. 
It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. Is there an elevator in there for you, or are you just going to hang out there until your cover gets blown? Yeah, Roger Bohr, what a guy. Man, we can make a paper mache rocket powered skateboard. Don't ask me how that works, but it does. I've got to get this lipstick clue to Spy Core on the double. And also, Spy Watch is back, but now it's enhanced where it tells us the time right here. And yes, that is the actual time uh, in the day that I'm recording this. Whether it's AM or PM, you decide, but I think you can figure it out. Anyhow, let's call Spy Core. Please stand by. Monkey Penny here. Monkey Penny, I have the information from Roger Bohr. Great. We need you to get that information back to headquarters as soon as possible, Spy Fox. Right. I'm on my way. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission going? It's going good. The acoustics in here are splendid. It's urgent that you get to Spy Corps on the double. Right. Will do, Monkey Penny. And also, there is, of course, a new fun Spy Watch game for us to play. Radioactive Trash Collector! Oh, boy! <laughs> yep, first we had, uh, first we had Happy Fun Sub, then Fiends from Space, now Rock Radioactive Trash Collector. This is arguably the weakest of the humongous, of the Spy Watch games, but it's still fun. It's a nice little, like, top-down game where we just shoot stuff as it comes. Boom. Very simple game. Very, very easy game, honestly. This is by far the easiest of all the Spy Watch games. But it's still fun. Those cleaning robots will deflect our shots, so we gotta watch out for those. Anyhow, as much as, as much fun as it would be to just play Radioactive Trash Collector, maybe we'll do that in a bonus video, But because it's actually very short. I think there are only five levels. But uh, we, we got a mission to do. All right. So, yeah, as much of fun as it would be to just hang out in the men's room, avoid work, and play <laughs> Spy Watch games all day, we, we gotta assemble this rocket-powered origa uh, origami to skateboard. I together this rocket-powered origami skateboard soon. Spy Corps is waiting for the lipstick message. Yeah, so there are three different parts to it. The upper wheels, the lower wheels, and then the actual rocket engine. And they're color-coded. This would look great on my <laughs> knick-knack shelf, but it's not going to help me escape. <laughs> Oh, I want origami putt putt in my room. Hmm, correct flaps. I learned this one in Spycrafts 101, <laughs> but it's not what I need right now. Oh, gotta love the Easter eggs. That's a different colored piece of paper than you had before. How is this hmm, working? Correct flaps. Neat, if I do say so myself. But it is definitely not a rocket powered skateboard. No, it's even better. I knew you'd like it, Spy Fox. You can this get it for your cousin Hank. Origami skateboard looks like it's going to be fun. This would look great. I on think that I think it's only Putt Putt, Freddy Fish, and Pajama Sam you can make. Wasted Ooh, opportunity to not plans. have Fatty Bear Wrong be order, listed. Yes, yeah, so you can push this button to start over, and yeah, you can see the color code right here and the steps. So step one is green. Boom. Step two is yellow. Boom. Step three is red. Boom. That did it. Now I'm rocket powered and ready for action. All right. Three, two, one. Let's ride! Dang, what kind of a building are we in? <laughs> what kind of scooters are those? Oh, rip dogbot. Oh, hey, it's the sheep that got cloned. Well, that's not very nice. It's okay, nobody dies in this game. Oh no, it's Laddie! And he has a Jeep! <laughs> Thank goodness our car was waiting here. Wrong place to put a food cart. Oh dear. 
Spy Fox in Operation Ozone. What an intro. Chief, a giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. The chief is fancy, extends his pinky. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up mobile command center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Chief, there's got to be a better way of Somewhere in kicking the people of out of your nowhere. office. Now I'm really on a roll. So, this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Alright, so we got the premise for our story. There's a giant spaceship that's a giant aerosol can spraying aerosol spray at the ozone layer. But I just want to point out that this came out long before that one Phineas and Ferb episode. So Phineas and Ferb ripped off Spy Fox Free. This is official. And yeah, uh, first game we were in Greece, second game we were in the World's Fair, here we're in, um, somewhere. Not really sure where, but hey, there's a pizza place nearby. Cool. And also, as you can see, of course, the bad pun counter had to return. Duh, it's a staple at this the point. The pizza shop is completely dark. Even if they were open, I wouldn't go in there right now. What? I'm sure th that looks like appetizing pizza. I'm sure it's great. Just watch out for the animatronics. It says pizza. Yes, I can read. Oh, wow. That's a sound effect right out of Balloonorama. <laughs> Those are spaceships right out of Balloonorama, too, and I love how you can see the aerosol can in the background. It's the gate to Poodles Galore's Cosmetics Factory, and it's locked. They just don't make games animated like this anymore. Why bring back 2D animation, please? It's so charming. That looks like a keycard device. Through Except... the use of deductive <laughs> reasoning, I bet I'll need a keycard to get through that gate. Except when Spy Fox's head phases in and out of existence. Sorry, <laughs> the spy hologram machine isn't working properly. I'm not really here. <laughs> oh dang! Right, let's go to that bowling alley. They got juggling crocodiles. Yes, please. Juggling crocodiles! I want to see him. <laughs> the pro shop. Hey, um, <laughs> where do I go to watch the dancing crocodiles? How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How did you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never change, Spy Fox. Never change. So, sport. How do you like working at the bowling alley? It's okay. It has its gutter balls and its strikes. Yep, I imagine. <laughs> not sure. That would probably be not the best job, but not the worst job. What's the best way to pick up a spare from a 710 split? Nail one of the pins in the side and cross your fingers. I see. Cross your fingers. Yep, it's, it's trade secret. Don't tell anybody. What's the best way to get a strike? Knocking all the pins down in one shot is how I do it. How very helpful. Did you know that a crude form of bowling can be traced all the way back to 3200 BC in Egypt? My, aren't you a fountain of trivia? 
It's interesting that up until 1905, bowling balls were made of lignum vitae, a very hard wood. Gee, that little bit of knowledge in 75 cents will get you a can of pop. <laughs> oh, man, I, lo I love the snarky store owners. I mean, he's no Gilbert from Spy Fox 1, but he's, he's close. <laughs> Actually, he's not close. Nobody can touch Gilbert. It says the pro shop. <laughs> and then when the musical theater group's in town, we change it to the prop shop. It says free bowling shirt. Cool. I like bowling shirts. So, Sport, how do you like working at the bowling alley? It's okay. What about the lemons? You must really like lemons. Personally, I think they're the perfect food. You can eat them plain, or you can cook and bake with them. Eat them plain, eh? Uh, don't recommend that. You're probably gonna destroy your taste buds, and it won't be a very enjoyable experience. But hey, who do I? What do I know? That's a luscious bowl of lemons you have there. Thanks. I picked these out myself. All right. Well, let's check out the bowling, the actual bowling alley. Okay. Oh, that's it. I've never seen a bowling alley like that, where like all of the lanes are, all of the lanes are like, in a circular shape. That's actually really cool. Also, wow, we got an elephant and a giraffe playing with a gerbil. I think the elephant. Actually, no. I was gonna say the elephant has an advantage, but the elephant has no thumbs. I think the gerbil might actually be at the advantage. He can put his fingers in the holes. And uh, they're they're rocking the green bowling shirts. Oh, wait. Did you... Oh, wait, that's a hedgehog. Never mind. Oh, yeah, he's definitely at an advantage. Oh, wait, did, did, did you think we were actually gonna play Spy Fox Free? No, no, no. We're just gonna watch NPCs play bowling. <laughs> this is Artie Plays Wii Sports Bowling with Spy Fox in the background. That's what this is. Ah, yes. Well, remember, Spy Fox is a renaissance fox, so he's... Bowling is just like riding a bicycle. Actually, I guess it's nothing like riding a bicycle. He's good at it, because he's a renaissance fox. He's versed in many different areas. Alright, well, yeah. The bowling alley's a bit of a dead end right now. But there's a jukebox here, which is pretty cool. So, hey, let's check that out. What a cool jukebox. Yeah, so there's a jukebox here, and what's really interesting, so there's a bunch of different songs here. So we have From Poodles with Love, The Man with the Golden Bun, Moon Baker, <laughs> Mission Implausible, Live and Let Fry, Mr. Joke Joke Giggle Giggle, For Your Pies Only, Where Has the Ozone Gone, A View to a Drill, some assembly required. Yeah, so there are a bunch of different songs that you actually, if you type in those numbers, you'll play the songs. And on top of that, the CD for Spy Fox Free, like back when CD-ROMs were a thing that you got for computer games, the disc that you would play Spy Fox Free from also doubled as an audio disc that you could, like, you could put it in, like, an MP3 player or, like, a CD player, and it will actually play the tracks from this game, which is really cool. Not that has been your useless piece of Spy Fox free trivia for today. So let's take a listen to some of these. F2. She moves with such grace, finesse, and style. She can melt your heart with a glance and a smile. Danger lurks beneath her fine dresses. Beware the poodle. These are like legit pretty good songs, actually. But obviously, my favorite is The Man with the Golden Bun. Oh, that's right, you have to hit reset, otherwise, it'll wait for the song to finish. Just like a real jukebox. This is definitely the best song.
Oh yeah, such a good song. Now, I literally could just spend all of this episode just listening to these songs, but I think we'll periodically listen to them. Let's actually get the story going. Because <laughs> we're, um, we're over, we're like 20 minutes into this, and, uh... Yeah, <laughs> we should probably progress the story a bit. C5. C5. Alright, C5. Now that's music. <laughs> he plays the Spy Fox theme. Yeah. Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. All right, we're going to space. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop oh. up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. Oh, man. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. <laughs> Thanks for the brief debriefing. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, let's try that out right now. Please stand by. Spy Fox, why are you using your very expensive spy watch to call me when I'm right here in the room? Because it's fun hearing you in stereo. Spy Fox out. All right, yeah, but we won't we won't mess around too much. We I know people want to get this going, so <laughs> yeah, this is a really interesting game. Uh, for one, the spy gadget vending machine. Uh, there was like a handful of gadgets in the last two games. Oh, there are so many gadgets in this game. It's it's nuts. And naturally, we aren't going to need all of them for every single path, but there are some that we will need for every path. Uh, Quack is here pushing a button over and over again and apparently repairing the uh, spy mess. What does the acronym M-E-S-S -S stand for again? That's multiple environment spy ship. That's right. I hope you manage to fix it soon. <laughs> oh yeah, we need that. <laughs> Uh, didn't we use, did we use that at the beginning of the game? Nah, the spy mobile is is different. Did you ever do field work, Professor Quack? Yes, but it confused me when people would yell duck. I got beamed in the head a lot. Oh, sorry, Quack. How do you think the mission is going, Monkey Penny? It's going well, but it would probably go better if you left Mobile Command and had a look around. Eh, uh, right. I suppose I should get going. All right. Well, sure. Hopefully the bowling alley won't mind that we're using their giant <laughs> bowling pin as a rocket. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I don't get paid enough to care. <laughs> Ain't that the case, sport. Oh, hey! We got some new people here! <laughs> we got, apparently, poodles galore, and then we've got a monkey and a bear. They could stand to lose a couple of pounds, I think. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right! Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. I want civilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. <laughs> she didn't appreciate the pun, apparently. Have you been in this bowling league long? Ace and Chap must focus on their bowling game. Please don't bother them, darling. Oh. That's a pretty keen bowling shirt you have on. Do not bother Ace or Chap. They must stay mentally prepared to bowl. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I, I, what the heck is with your bowling ball? Th there was a buzz saw that just popped out of it. What? Oh, and also that's that's no bowling pin. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Oh no. What a way to go. Hit by a bowling ball. That would that wouldn't like kill you. Again, nobody dies in this game, folks. Have you ever had any interest in space? Our final frontier. It happens to be a bit of a hobby of mine. I am the first to fully realize the potential for cosmetic rocketry. Now go and get your bowling shirt. Ow, how gauche! Gauche? This is a tux. 
It's way fancier than a bowling chair. What's the latest trend in cosmetics these days, Ms. Galore? I can honestly say that in a matter of hours, it is going to be extra strength sunscreen. Now go get your bowling shirt. <laughs> I wonder who the mastermind is. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, wait, I gotta remember. Okay. Okay, it's pink in the back, blue in the front. So it's a blue shirt with a pink stripe. So that's the style. Also, their fourth bowling team member is apparently named Day. All right. Blue shirt, pink stripe. So we need this one. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, Sport? Be more yeah, specific. Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades. Welcome. Can I wear the shirt and then trade it in? We don't recommend it, but yeah, that's allowed. <laughs> have a nice day. Thank you. How many other people have worn this particular bowling shirt today? Probably 20. Don't worry, we spray it with Axe Body Spray between each one, so it should be clean. <laughs> Uh, understandable. <laughs> I definitely trust this bowling alley's hygiene standards. <laughs> Ooh, dapper. This is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also have to keep my eye out for good thumbnail opportunities. Excuse me, I'm the new bowler. Let's do some bowling. You can't be our fourth bowler. Your shirt may be the right color, but it doesn't have a name patch with our fourth bowler's name on it. Go away, you are bothersome. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm clearly the fourth member of your bowling team. <laughs> the real day had an unfortunate I accident. I think it's best to only wear bowling shirts when I'm in a bowling alley. And when I say an unfortunate accident, I mean they're just at the all-you-can-eat pizza buffet next door. They're, they're a little busy. They're even fatter than Ace and Champ. All right. <laughs> I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to wear the green bowling shirt. I'd like to trade this bowling shirt for that other brightly colored shirt. Suit yourself. <laughs> now I have to apply another layer of Axe Body Spray on this one. <laughs> Wonderful. Have a nice day. Thank you. It's annoying that you've got the two identical shirts, but it's like, this one's a blue shirt with a pink stripe, and this one's a pink shirt with a blue stripe. Drove me crazy as a kid. <laughs> With the green bowling shirt, we're going to join the other team over there. Excuse me, I'm the new bowler. <laughs> Let's do some bowling. You can't be our fourth bowler. Your shirt is the wrong color, and you don't have a name on your patch. Go away, you are bothersome. Dog on it. <laughs> on second thought, I want that first shirt again. After I cleaned I it? I'd rather have that bowling shirt with the pink on it. They all have pink on them, pal. <laughs> this guy's just so done with working in customer service. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Well, thankfully, because Spy Fox is wearing these over his tuxedo, they don't actually have to clean them after it. <laughs> they don't cut corners. It's just smart business. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy. All right. My name is... <laughs> I am the winner. <laughs> that patch machine oh man, people great. hate me for <laughs> just purposely messing everything up. I want. <laughs> you idiot, you can't remove the patch after you install it. <laughs> just, you, you game over right here. Do, do, do. That's right, I changed my name from day to winner. I'm ready to bowl. Darling, you have the right shirt color, but the name on your patch is wrong. You must not be on our team. Um, <laughs> no, I... I definitely... <laughs> and my name is definitely Winner, because I'm gonna win. Fine. My name is Day. Happy. Hey, that's a nifty name to have on my bowling shirt. <laughs> when I play this with Marty, I'm gonna try to remember to name myself Ace or Champ and see if what will happen. If there's special dialogue, like, you are not Ace. <laughs> hey, Poodles has more letters in her name than the thing will allow, so her name is just Poodoo. You are finally ready to bowl? It is about time, darling. 
Yes, but I'm a bit rusty. Do you mind if I warm up a bit? Oh, for goodness sake. All right. Choose your bowling ball, but warm up quickly. My guest is simply dying to watch me bowl. Okay, let's Sorry use this, this one. Pin, but I don't want to blow my cover. <laughs> I warmed up yet, darling. I do want to get on with it. Not just yet. I still have a few kinks to work out. Work them out quickly. I have some sticky business to attend to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could actually do that. Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> I, I'm going to get an earful from that later. Yeah, we actually can't solve this puzzle yet. So, yeah, I screwed up again on purpose. Back into the rocket. <laughs> Boosh. Yes, I am the slowest player in the world. So we're going to need a special spy gadget for this. So we can go for these. I'll go for these a little more in detail later on. Some of them look interesting. We're looking for this one. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. No, oh, the puns are the best. Say you need to get a secret message or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! <sighs> These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. Yeah, so this is one of those spy gadgets that, thankfully, it's it's really specific, but it works for just the situation we need. You also need this every play for. Let's just get this one to begin with, and we'll go for the other spy gadgets in more detail in the next episode. Yeah, this will be a long first episode, but I, you know what? People have been waiting so long for Spy Fox Free, you guys deserve it. <laughs> Especially since most of this episode is just me goofing around. Be glad I didn't decide to listen to everything in the jukebox right now. Which I debated doing, but then this will be an hour long first episode. Alright, here we go. Use the bowling ball here. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Then my name should have been top on the list. Well, that was fun. Time to split. <laughs> Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! <laughs> They'll never get me here. <laughs> no, he got away. You could have stopped him. No matter. It is too late now. Champ, Ace, back to the factory. It's time to really heat the place up. How ominous. Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chickle. Chickle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One prickly pear pizza. A freshwater pearl farmed only in the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my keycard to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. Oh, yeah. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. <laughs> it will be good to have my spy wheels back. As long as nobody carjacks it while we're here. It's like, oh, hey, cool, super spy car. I'm just going to take it for a joyride. <laughs> take it to Harry Housen's for the date with Celia. 
All right, well, that was a long first episode, but there we go. We've saved Plato Pushpin, and now the we're actually off to the main plot. We gotta find those four ingredients for the congeal pill to stop this. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun Let's Play series, I can already tell. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely tune in for this whole series, especially tune in for part one and part two when Marty comes on board, because I guarantee it's gonna be fun times. This is, like, one of her favorite games, so... It's going to be great, going to be memorable, going to have a lot of funny moments, and as you can already tell, a huge amount of bad puns. So, what's not to love? Thank you all so much for watching, I hope to see you next time, until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless. Yeah. <laughs>